failure analysis time. This is a uh, Noma LED light bulb and it uh, no longer works. So uh, what I've done here is I saw on the top plastic cover off to get access to the circuitry so I can sort down uh, what happened to it. Uh, just uh, zooming into the two wires that are coming up from a power supply below uh, that attach to this emitter array. I can see the black wire and a red wire and uh, the black wire uh, is disconnected. Now, let me zoom in a little bit here. Uh, you can see there's a small divot on the solder so it does appear that it was attached at one time but it's pulled away. If I uh, sort of rotate around take a picture of the uh, red wire I can see that indeed it's still connected. It has that really dreadful soldering where the uh, the wire is starting to pull away as the solder hardens and they get this uh, really long bridge which is a very weak solder joint. Let's, um, let's just try up uh, reattaching the black wire and see if the bulb uh, behaves any differently. So the bulb's back in a socket here. Now let's uh, turn it on and of course you can see the LEDs light up uh, just fine. So uh, this is probably the uh, shortest repair video uh, I've ever uh, filmed. I thought it might be a much more sophisticated failure. Uh, now that the uh, bulb's working unfortunately I can't put it back into service because uh, the assembly was non-repairable. I had to saw the uh, top off. I think it was glued on. Let's um, tear it down and uh, see how it was designed. So here's a view straight down of the emitter array, 16 LED placements as one might expect. That's not too unusual. What is quite different though, there appears to be a semiconductor on this uh, assembly. If I zoom into it, it's marked CL1570 and I can pull up a data sheet from a company called Chiplink Tech, uh, all in Chinese. Uh, good indication that the industry is very much moved into China and all the primary data sheets are in Chinese. And of course to find an English data sheet is actually fairly challenging. The nice thing with the data sheet though is it still has a very readable uh, application note on how to use the integrated circuit. Uh, it looks like there's a bridge rectifier on one side that converts of course AC into a very high voltage DC, about 150 volts. Uh, a resistor capacitor combination. I presume the capacitor is a smoothing uh, element. I'm not quite sure what the R0 is for. There's a resistor that sets the uh, current uh, through the LEDs and of course then uh, CL1570 is a current limited power supply. Let's uh, de-encapsulate the uh, integrated circuit to see what it looks like. So here we have the silicon die. I've removed the packaging. We're looking straight down, always visually appealing these uh, analog functions. Let's see if we can sort down what we're looking at. We can see three bond pads. It's a three pin device. That makes sense. Um, normally let's think I'll put that one as out. I'll put this one as ground and I'll put this one as R external, the control pin. And let me explain my logic in just a second here. Uh, half the die basically is one transistor and that's uh, the one on top. Um, the reason it's consuming so much die is that basically they're trying to move the current density around. You can't have any hot spots in silicon. It's a planar process. They spread it out and get this very large transistor structure. Uh, on the pad I've marked uh, R external, there is a ESD protection diode to the left uh, and there's a, a transistor to the right. Now if I open up a classic circuit for current limiting it, you get this kind of two transistor topology. And I think that uh, this is similar to what we're looking at in this silicon die. Coming back to the photograph, uh, we can see obviously a lot of control logic, or pardon me, it's analog, uh, control circuitry uh, in this portion of the die here. Uh, I think these are PNP transistors, and I think this is the band gap reference, but uh, more than willing to be challenged on this. Um, when you reverse engineer silicon, you have to normally spend dozens of hours, and uh, today only have a few hours to look at this die. So. Uh, anyways, uh, that is a uh, controller for this particular LED. Uh, if you'd like to look more at it, I have a photograph on my blog, um, electronupdate.blogspot.com. You can take a peek there if you'd like to further analyze it. So here's the assembly further disassembled. This was the top, of course, and there's some heat sink compound I'd wiped off, but it, of course, made it to the emitter and, most unusually, power supply component on the top here, uh, leaving a, a very simple circuit board in the bottom. And uh, it matches the reference design schematic. It has a, a fuse that comes in, goes to full wave bridge rectifier, and then there's simply a capacitor and a resistor in parallel. This is basically a high voltage DC power supply, 120 volts AC in, and about 150 volts of DC out. So the lower uh, circuit board has this bridge rectifier. It's an MB10F, and I pull up a typical data sheet. It uh, shows me it's an 800 milliamp capable part, so quite appropriate surface mount for this particular application. Let's uh, de-encapsulate this one as well and uh, look at it. Uh, I know I had a lot of questions when I was doing my Zen or Dio teardown. People asked about a bridge rectifier, hoping it's potentially some very exciting part. Uh, in a second here, we'll see actually it's very straightforward indeed. Uh, so here's all the silicon from this uh, Noma bulb. This was the controller we just looked at. And these four bits of uh, silicon are diodes, uh, one, two, three, four. 
a bridge rectifier from what I can see from all the teardowns I've done is just simply four chunks of silicon into a package. Haven't seen anything uh, different than that. Well, there we go. That's what was inside this uh, Noma LED light bulb. Uh, a fairly interesting topology and a fairly interesting design. Uh, unfortunately let down by just a very poor assembly quality and then uh, not being a repairable assembly, it just, of course, became trash. So um, that was rather unfortunate. 